My name is Gavin. I'm an elder at this church, your church, and I'm here to share the daily encouragement with you. And today I'm going to read Matthew 24. And my, I'd like to read the, the chapter itself, and then from there we'll see what encouragement God gives us. And so, yeah, so I encourage you to listen, close your eyes or whatever, but just, yeah, just hear the words of the Lord. Jesus left the temple and was going away when his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, You see all these things, do you not? Truly I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of war. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. And all these things are but the beginning of the birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. But the the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then let, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the house stop not go down to take what is in his house. And let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. And alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now. No, and will never be. And if those days had not been cut short, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. So if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, look, he is in the inner room, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is there, the vultures will gather. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call. And they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as his branches become tender and puts out his leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. For as were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day when Noah entered the ark. And they were unaware until the flood came and swept them all away. So will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one left. Therefore stay awake. For you do not know what day your Lord is coming. But know this, if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is that faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he does not know and will cut him in pieces and put him in with the hypocrites. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And so yeah, so that is 
Matthew 24. And just before I give you the encouragement that I believe God laid on my heart, I want you to think about what I just read. What encouragement is God giving you? The encouragement I saw, the disciples came to Jesus and asked him three questions and he answered them. Jesus wants us to ask him questions. He says he's told us everything. He tells you there'll be wars and all sorts of stuff. It's going to be a crazy time, but the end is not yet. He tells us that you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. He says that, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. He says that as well, not only must we worry about ourselves, but the gospel, this gospel that we have come to believe, that's come to save us, will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. He says, but for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. And he warns us as well. He says, if anyone says to you, here is the Christ, do not believe it. Jesus said to us that his sheep hear his voice. He says they're going to perform mighty signs and wonders and to lead, if possible, even the elect. And for me, what is such a powerful encouragement to me is Jesus says, see, I have told you beforehand. So again, you don't need experts. You don't need others to tell you. Jesus has already told us. And he says, yeah, he says, if they say, look, he's in the inner rooms, do not believe it. Another encouragement. And he will send out these angels with a loud trumpet call. And they will gather his elect. They will gather us, his children. He says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. So again, this world that we are in at the moment of, is full of turmoil. And Jesus is the only one we can hold on to. He is the rock. He is your rock. He is my rock. He is the rock of this church. So while it's concerning the day and hour, no one knows. Not even the angels of heaven nor the Son, but the Father only. Again, what an encouragement. We don't have to be fearful. We don't have to worry what people are saying. Again, we can trust Jesus. And then therefore, Jesus tells us to stay awake. That is an encouragement for us. Stay awake, my brothers and sisters. Stay awake. And therefore, you must be ready. Be ready. And who then is that faithful and wise servant? whom his master set of his household. And I think I felt about that. That is for us pastors and us parents. Let us be faithful of our households. And then, these are the words of Jesus, as he said, will not fade, will not pass away. We can hold on to it. So my encouragement to you is, if these words are not encouraging to you, that you draw near to God. God doesn't want us to try harder. He says we must cry out to him. And so my encouragement to all of us as we're listening to this and, and whatever we're situation we're in, cry out to God. So Father, I thank you, Lord, that I can come this, this evening or this morning, whenever your children is here, they're listening to your voice. I thank you, God, that your word will encourage them. I thank you that your word will bring perspective. I thank you that these are the very words of life that we can be prepared and, and, and willing to die for, Lord God, because they will not pass away. We thank you that for that trumpet call, we can look forward to that trumpet call. We thank you that you speak to us, your children, and I pray for your children that they may hear your voice over the, the many thousands of confusing voices and messages, Lord God, and over the storms that might be raging in their, in their world and in their lives right now. We speak peace, the peace of God. I speak into your homes, into your families, now in Jesus' name. And I pray for those who are listening but who don't know you and is far. I ask for the grace, Lord God, that they may turn to you, that they may hear your sweet voice again and may feel your embrace. We thank you, God, and we can exalt you over this world and over our situation and say, Jesus, you are Lord. And we ask that you fill us with your joy and you fill us with your hope and you fill us with your word in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. I want to encourage you to continue listening to this. In July, we will be starting with the book of Acts, and that is an exciting book to see how the church was formed and how the church continues because the book of Acts is not a book that has ended. We are living that book at the moment. The Lord bless you. We love you. And if you need anything, please contact us. We are here to serve you, and God is with us.